Greensboro. The sculpture that you're seeing um, being put up there on the screen was placed in LaBauer Park. In just a few short days, a documentary will debut in the triad that follows the artist's creative journey. That's right, and both the documentary and the sculpture are titled She Wouldn't Take Off Her Boots. And joining us this morning is the filmmaker Jenny Kaiser and also the sculptor Victoria Milstein. Thank you both for joining us this morning. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Well, we want to start with you, Victoria, first. We first have to ask, what does your sculpture represent? I mean, she wouldn't take off her boots. That's a powerful title. Mm -hmm. The sculpture represents it's a sculpture about women and children that perished in the Holocaust. It happens to be inspired by a photograph of four women and a child moments before they were killed just miles from their home by a Nazi, by the Nazis during the Holocaust. It represents what happens in our society when no one says anything, when people don't stand up. These women become our teachers. What happened in the Holocaust, anti-Semitism, racism, genocide of the most innocent of our society has happened and is happening now in our world. So when a sculpture speaks of these issues, it becomes a safe place for us to remember this history so that it never happens again and to talk about it and to teach our children. So there's an education program that surrounds the sculpture. There's a self-guided tour, as well as the North Carolina State has a curriculum that has to do with what happened to these women and how it connects to our local Greensboro. And the, the movie is a part of that. Yeah, Victoria, this is, this is a big undertaking, mm -hmm. a big project with a very, very powerful message. What, made it, what motivated you in the first place to put this together? It's such a good question. I went in 2018 uh, with uh, a group of Greensboro adults and children to March of the Living with Rabbi Fred Gutman. I walked through the camps and I was in the women's section and being an American Jewish woman, I could not believe what happened to them. I couldn't believe the history. I was with 10,000 other people and we were going to be marching to Israel. And I thought for a moment, if these women had known, if these people had known that there would be an Israel, that would, there would be a country, that there would be a whole world that would be against what happened in Germany, against the Holocaust, if they would only know, but they didn't and they perished in brutal ways. And I thought, I must tell their story. So that was it. It kind of like hit me on that trip. Well, thank you for sharing your emotion and passion with us. Certainly, we appreciate it. And Jenny, this brings us to you now. Why did this documentary and process of filming this really come about for you personally? So Victoria and I have been friends for uh, quite a number of years, and we've always tried to look for projects that we could do together. Um, this one came up and she said, listen, I'm trying to raise money to build this monument and to get it bronzed and to get it in the public space and I need help. Can you do a fundraising video? So we did a fundraising video. It ended up being about three minutes long. Some people saw it and they said, what if we had a documentary that could be part of the educational curriculum that we're going to be creating about the monument? So right then I just started uh, capturing her in different process of making the monument. And then we started saying, okay, what what is this gonna be about? Mm -hmm. And then we added, the Holocaust survivors, we had several that were part of the project that posed for Victoria, and we captured their stories as well. And that sort of was the genesis of, of the film. And Jenny, we have to uh, assume that you went through many twists and turns as you were making this documentary, just trying to really bring the moment to life. But when you think about who your audience is going to be, who will benefit most from watching the film and taking in some of the process and learning about the background of the journey and maybe just a bit more about the Holocaust as well? I think everybody will benefit from, from watching the film. It's definitely geared towards older teens and adults. So this isn't a film for middle schoolers or elementary school kids. This is definitely for high school students, mm -hmm. college students, and then, and then older adults. They benefit from it because you hear the stories, you feel something. 
you know, my goal as a filmmaker is always that I want people to cry at the end of a story. And it's not because I want to totally emotionally wreck somebody, but I want them to, to witness the story. I want them to be involved in the story because once you feel something, you can't unfeel it. And so they take that feeling, they take that knowledge to the next situation. So hopefully while this is about Victoria sculpting the monument and it's about three Holocaust survivors that are featured in the film, the viewer will understand what happens when people look away, that when people don't care, um, what can happen in the, in the atrocities that can happen in this world. And so when they say maybe they'll take a different action, maybe they'll stand up, maybe they'll say no. Put a, put, a, put on their boots. Mm -hmm. Put on their boots. Keep their boots on. Right, right. Thank you, ladies, so much for sharing all of this with mm -hmm. us. And congratulations so far on what you've been able to do for all of us here at home. The debut screening of She Wouldn't Take Off Her Boots is next Tuesday, June 27th at 5 p.m. It is free to attend cool. this screening, so spread the word. It's all happening at the Carolina Theater there in the Gate City.